There were children and adults on the roof. Firefighters tackling a chaotic scene after a Rochester home erupts in flames. Good evening. That house on Griffith Street was home to two families who were forced to escape the flames. Yeah, just incredible video. And tonight we've learned the Red Cross has stepped in to help all 13 people who live there get back on their feet. Ashley Adlin joins us now live from what remains of the home. So, Ashley, what can you tell us about how all this happened? Adam, I talked to one of the families today who told me that they've essentially lost everything. If you take a look behind me, you can see that the home is badly damaged. There's no word on what caused this yet, but you can see this family lost almost everything they have. But they tell me they didn't lose the one thing that matters the most. Sean Hampton McCall says he was out with friends last night when he got a weird feeling. Something just told me to come home, so I'm coming down the strip, coming down Broadway. And I see the smoke, and I'm like, oh my gosh. His home at 98 Griffith Street was on fire. I was screaming. I've lost my everything. Luckily, Hampton McCall says when he got to the home, his six kids, a teenager, and an adult that had all been inside were okay. They were, they were literally being escorted right out of the drive. They had just got off the roof. The kids and the adults had climbed onto the roof and were rescued by firefighters and Rochester police. Immediately, the rage went from 100 it's about 40, 50. One thing you cannot get back is health. All these material things, that's, that, that comes and goes. Now, Adam, you did mention the Red Cross a little bit earlier, and we did speak to them, and they are helping everyone who was in this home at the time of the fire. They have been able to provide them with money to get medicine, shelter, food, water, anything else they'll need, and that assistance is going to carry on until they've all been taken care of. Back to you. All right, Ashley, thank you. I also do want to thank Daniel Eichholz. He gave us that video of the flames last night. Now, the Rochester Fire Department says it's still investigating the cause of that fire.